Yeah, so the cross-sectional area is actually 38.182 millimeters. Um, so yeah, I was, I was heading down the right track with that. So that is your 35 millimeter square millimeter tail. Um, the meter, the meter tails are 38 point. Here come the 25s, and I just need to replace 25s from here up to here. And I've taken out the neutral as well, which was 16mm. It would be interesting to see what the 16mm was. So let's put the calculator up here for a second. And. Measure the strands on on sixteen mil. See what that is. Morning. You'd think if they did it every day which they do, the distribution network operator would be able to tell the difference between 16 millimeter and 25 millimeter tails, meter tails. But when you have 25 millimeter and 30 millimeter, 35 millimeter meter tails, you see a cross-sectional area, as it goes up, it makes less and less difference to the diameter of the cable. So a 25mm and a 35mm cable is the difference between something like 11mm and 13mm diameter. 16mm cable, I don't know what that is, but if you see a 16mm and a 25mm cable together the 25 millimeter looks large, but if you put 25 to a 35, the 25 looks smaller. At the moment, there's 280, uh, 280 amp fuses in here and a 100 amp fuse. And we want to upgrade them all to 100 amps, uh, failing that 125. So, the maximum demand we've encountered here is around 30 amps. And yet we found that two of these fuses have blown. Uh, they've just come in and replaced them. And so if we want them uprated to put them on to 25 mil tails from the 16 mil tails that are there. Well, I'm not sure that there are any 16 millimeter tails in this setup, but we'll have a look. <laughs> Our maximum demand meter here um, is set up for 360 amp phases and it only measures up to 50 amps on the maximum, 50 amps. So definitely at one point uh, the demand was lower. The maximum demand on this now with potentially electric heating going in is at least doubled. Um, but I'm wondering whether these are actually 35mm tails going into these at the moment and that we don't have an issue with the consumer tails. So today is to measure these up, see which ones need replacing and 
order the materials. Right, they definitely are need upgrading. There's 16 mil tails in there. Um, hmm. Right, we've got 63 amps. fuse links in there and a hundred amps in there. They're 25, so that's okay. This is the one that's concerning me at the moment. Um, this one I'm not worried about because it's got 63 amps on it. That isolates for DB1 and DBA first floor. Um, so that's for this one and the one on the first floor. 63 amps for both of those. It's a little bit low, but the first floor there got 16 mil cable going in. Um, so yeah, um, that. Yeah, the, that's the single phase supply. Then the lift motor room comes off this one, and that's on 25 amps, and that does need 100 amps. But also the lunch room. Um, but we're not going to be able to upgrade that. Right, this is the thick cable. Uh, which is about 13 millimeter in diameter and we've got um, strands that are 1.6 millimeters in diameter and I'm just going to count up I did count them but I've forgotten how many there are of that and then we can s confirm that they're 35 millimeter cross-sectional area so I'll just count how many there are. Right, so there's not there are 19 strands at 1.6. Uh, so that is um, pi r squared. Three radius is 0 0.8. 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 is. 
0.64. Yeah, so the cross-sectional area is actually 38.182 millimetres. Um, so yeah, I was, I was heading down the right track. They're 1.6 as well. And we've got one, two, how many strands have we got? Five, six, seven. Seven, uh, the pi r squared is 0 0.8 times 0 0.8, 0 0.64 times pi, 3.14 times 0.64 equals two, exactly times um, 7 hmm. 7 strands One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 7 at 1 point six, point 0.8 times point 0.8 0.64 times 3.14 it's 2 exactly times 7 so our 16 millimeter is actually 14 millimeters cross-sectional area so that's not brilliant a 16 millimeter is 14 millimeter in actual fact Yes, I've measured them wrong, but pretty certain I haven't. Um, yeah, they're 1.6 in diameter. Mm. These are overpopulated, um, having two conductors in each, in each fuse. There's not much I can do about this, um, and with the budget they're on, so to make them safe is all we can do. Um, so I'm putting 25 mil cables in here um, to be protected by these three 100 amp fuses. Alright, so we've got the neutral in now, got the identification of conductors there, and we've got a spare way there, spare third uh, phase, which we may need in the future to power some electrical heating. I'm going to go upstairs, I've still got that um, Yesterday I twisted CPCs together in a lighting circuit to give me 0.83 ohms on the lighting circuit but um, it's twisted together in eight places and um, when I go back with the new fire, uh, two more fire hoods, um, intumescent fire hoods, put them in. I also take down the lights I've put in there. Uh, and do something with those uh, twisted CPCs, um, probably put cable nuts on them. Um, cable nuts, which uh, I've got to order specially in because I don't think they have them in stock in uh, City Electrical Factor. Um, so that means they've all got to be untaped, cable nuts put on and then taped up again. Um, so, oh, I don't suppose they really need taping. Yeah. That's what I've got to do tomorrow. Um, for the rest of today, I'm going to head upstairs. Uh, give me 40 minutes to clear up here. And um, I'll show you what we're doing up there. Okay, so upstairs we go. And uh, carry on with the underfloor heating.
Uh, this is the bathroom. Here we are. Here's my tower, Kakuei tower. Up there is a 6mm feed. We've got 30, 30 volts underfloor heating in here, which needs a transformer. The tails are still unprotected, the cool tails are bare and need some kind of containment on them. So I suppose that should be my first task today. And along. This is the transformer. So the six cold tails and six secondary windings, they've still got to be made up. As you can see, it was a bit of a um, faff doing all the conduit. Um, the, uh, for this, um, the uh, thermostat kind of come out of this uh, Y box and here's the two pole 40 amp isolator although it's only 16 amps it's going to go into it so 16 amps is good for 2.5 it's got some 2.5 coming along here I'm going to go up there with it and then drill through the wall from the 6 mil and probably put a new fuse board there just to feed the hoist which is a 6 amp and then a 16 amp for, for this and they come out of da, 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 wet room hoist here so this will be the wet room um, consumer unit now so that will be consumer unit number DB9 I think DB9 probably so I won't get that all done today but I've got a bit of tomorrow as well so we'll see how far we get um, first thing is what to do about these cold tails box up, stick a box over it um, not sure what sort of box yet I'll finish the day and so I've got the 6mm that came in here that was spurred twice in a little box there. What I've done is um, I have joined it to some 6mm tri-rated and taken it back through the wall along with the two spurs that were in here. Those are also joined to, to 1.5 singles and taken through to the other side of the wall. Here's the consumer unit I put on uh, at the end of last year. And the other side here is where the cables come through and the new consumer units come through.